It was that he struggled to move the ball offensively. His defense locked down, but he's got to find a way to move the ball against Pavin, who, remember, back in Madden 19, that he had one of the best defenses around. Pavin's run defense looked great, too, in groups. And like you said, Mills, I think, had almost negative yards in his first game versus Kiv, and he was able to win. So he's going to have to be a lot better on offense. But here you go, first play. We're going to see that 3-4 Bear screaming at Pavin. Pizza Hut Stadium, the site of this game as always. And why not start off with a sack for Jay Mills defense? It was the rookie out of Clemson, Isaiah Simmons, in the backfield. If Pavin cannot handle that pressure, it's going to be a long day for this gun bunch offense. Second and long, Vic dropping back. Blitz picked up nicely this time, but no one's open downfield. Have to throw this one away. Oh, man, those boys are coming. And you see Pavin, he actually motioned over to the strong side with his halfback, so he had double blockers from that side. It actually picked up the blitz really well, but nothing open. And a big third and 18 already to start the game. Dropping back, pressure from Johnson, Let's just go. gets Give off his back please. foot, cross body, right, and Tory Holt goes up there and makes the play oh for the LCQ champ. Throwing it up into coverage and it pays off. Oh, you see Mills in shock. Just a bad read by Pavin. Pressure came at him. He, he threw it up basically, able to click on and make a user catch. Very risky and unfortunate play right there for Mills, but he's able to pick up the big first down for Pavin. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And right there, Pavin, the fortunate throw. Torrey Holt with all those abilities making plays. Here comes the pressure. Ross with the catch. Quick little flat round. That's a great way, TD, to deal with the early pressures to get some of those underneath routes working. Great read right there. And that's the way you're going to have to beat this defense. It's very difficult. So you're going to have to send five out and make a quick read within a second, whether it be a little flat route, an out route, a quick streak. Or you're going to have to try to send out two routes and block everyone. Those are the two strategies. We'll see what Poppin goes through on the second and three. Vic outside the pocket. Playmaker up the field. And smart play there by Poppin. I thought he was going to try to lob that over to the playmaker. But with the defender underneath, he just takes his first down Vic. So on the previous play, he went with the five out receivers and made a quick read here. He blocks uh, the whole team and sends out two routes, able to run around with Vic. And now I like the strategy, switch it up, go to this fullback dive a little bit, keep Mills off balance, but, but Mills with great defense yet again. Ty, I love this question. Uh, you, you asked, you asked Pavin, you know, you got Mills. What is your preparation been like? All he said was there isn't really prepping for Mills. No one runs like that bear like him. And that how it, I mean, that just seems so honest from Pavin. I mean, what can you do to prepare for this sort of defense? It's so true. And, you know, Mills is almost the creator, in a sense, of this 3-4 Bear defense. He's been running these pressure defenses for years where he's coming at you. And no one runs this 3-4 Bear like Mills. So, to Pavin's point, it's very difficult to prepare for him. It's Vic up the sidelines. And this is something that we didn't see Mills' defense giving up a lot of in that group play. Pavin able to get outside the pocket with Vic and pick up some yards. Yeah, nice little scramble right there. And remember, Mills spent nearly 70% of his cap on defense, the most in the tournament. Pavin spent a lot of cap on his offense, so a clash of styles. And a nice little scramble right there from Vic. Pavin flipping around this gun bunch. Mills took fourth of the classic, 17th at the clubs. A very nice year from the Dallas, Texas native as Vic one more time and Titty Poppins moving the ball against this defense and I don't think we've seen that. The lab work really coming into play here for Pavin. He's really picking up these blitzes and he's able to get on the run with that Mike Vic. That's why you get that, that 99 Mike Vic, all that speed. He's able to create some plays. Goes to a little fullback dive there. I love the mix up. Can go back into that formation with Kellen Winslow. Coach said he had the body of an offensive lineman. He's a wide receiver in an offensive lineman's body. Right now he's being used as a fullback. This is this is one of the most uh, versatile players we've ever seen in the game of men. Kellen Winslow, a lot of a lot of ways you can use him. He's got speed. He's got height. You can put him at fullback, tight end. Pavin doing a great job now in a big third and two here. Very manageable for Pavin. I know Mills is going to bring the heat. Let's see if Pavin runs with Vic again. Look at the offensive line, it picks up the pressure, but good coverage downfield, and who else but Isaiah Simmons in the backfield. Ty, if Isaiah Simmons does anything like he has done in Madden for the Arizona Cardinals, they have a certified stud on their hands. 
Man, what a team Arizona is going to be next year. I'm excited to watch them. And, and terrific defense right there by Mills. Pavin tried to, he, he, he only sent out two routes again, but he tried to go deep. He had a cross there and a deep dig, and Mills was all over it with his user, forces a three and out, and kicks the field goal. But a, a, not a bad drive by Pavin to start the game. It's always tough to get the ball first, but so, so to go down and get three is very good for his confidence going up against that vaunted Mills defense. And now here we go. We're going to see Mills in this Oakland Raiders offense. No quarterback, so it's going to be very heavy with Raheem Mostert at running back. And remember, in group play, Mills' offense was not great, so we'll see if he made some changes uh, for his offensive plan here in the wild card round. Yeah, Mills in group play had the worst offense of any of the 16 competitors, only putting up 202 total yards, all rushing. Uh, the Talk next the lowest was Young Kiv at 283. So, I, I mean, we watched his games, TD. We got to call a couple of them. Mills just wasn't able to put touchdowns on the board. His defense was able to force turnovers and give good field position, but his offense just didn't work. What does he have to do against Pavin? What is going to work for him? Yeah, he's going to find some other runs. He kind of stick to the same few runs in that in that group stage, and they were really bagged. I mean, he was getting blown up in the backfield. And look, his defense was so great that if he would have had even a little bit better offense, even decent, he probably would have went 3-0 and won his group. So if he can just if he just went into the lab, made some changes, found a couple other new things that he can mix in for a wrinkle, I think he can be successful because of how good his defense is. It's crazy. He only had 202 total yards of offense. He only gave up 173 yards through three games in group play as Mostert up the middle. And we talked about Mostert with Jukebox. Uh, Ty, if you had told me five months ago at club time that we would reach the Madden Bowl and Mills would be the only player with a running back ability, I would ask for whatever was in your drink because I would assume you were completely intoxicated. <laughs> yeah, you know, we saw a lot of that Zeke Elliott uh, armbar at the beginning of the year. We saw a lot of jukebox as we moved into club championship. But, you know, I think Mo pointed out earlier uh, in the in the stream that, you know, if Mills would have, or all these EMB guys, if they would have went to a human joystick now, I think they, they probably wish they did that, seeing the success of Noah and Volterax. That human joystick has been so huge for them. So I wonder if these guys want, wish they went to that. As you see there, Raheem Mostert are getting blown up in the backfield again. Well, I mean, they might have wished it, but at the end of the day, two EMB guys uh, did pretty well in, in group play. Mills is here in the wild card round. Lil Man and Joke won their groups. Third oh, and ten, Mostert outside. There's that jukebox. Uh, One, two, three. Absolutely it. bananas with that jukebox. Oh, man, that was nasty. I'm talking super nasty. Three jukes in a row. And we haven't seen a jukebox like that in months since the beginning of the year, as we were saying, wow, what a nasty run right there by Mills to get a big first down. And now Mills wants to use all this clock. Look at him. He put the controller down. He's going to hike at one. He wants to take this to the half. Most likely wants to score seven. But even if he gets a field goal, he's trying to minimize the clock in this game and keep it close and keep it where he can run the ball and play defense. Clock management. I mean, Mills has always said if he can get 10 points, he can win any game. Now 3 nothing in this one. Hand off to Harris. Nowhere to go up the middle. Franco Harris, the absolute, I mean, I, I, I think if you look at the roster of this team, the majority of guys who have any sort of rushing attack, Franco Harris is a key part of that attack in the fullback position. For sure, he's very versatile. You know, he can. he's a good blocker, and then you can put him in there to sub in Mostert when he's tired. You know, so definitely a crucial part of Mills' offense as he goes back to this I form close halfback dive. Of course, Mills works for State Farm. He's looking to give himself a little insurance with a good positioning here at the Madden Bowl. Take home some of the $220,000 prize pool that is on the line. It's interesting talking to Pavin about his journey this through the LCQ. He said, you know, it was a grind, but this I felt like it's smart. made me better as uh, Mills comes out in the field. What, 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 hey, I'm not a Madden pro. What, why come out in the field? Like Interesting. I, I, I don't even know what was going on right there. I, 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 I then, And then Mills called the timeout, so I don't know what he was thinking. As uh -oh. Mostert breaks There one. goes Mostert. There goes Mostert. Oh, they man. caught him. And oh, JB. And no jukebox needed on that one. As Raheem Mostert man. hits the pylon. Oh. And Mills finds a touchdown. Third down, man. 
That's the offense Mills needs if he wants to win this tournament. His defense has been exceptional, and he breaks a huge run with Mostert to take the lead. And if Mills, if Mills can play offense like that all day, he's going to be very difficult to beat. And you're seeing the runs that Mills is having success with, success with is outside the tackles. Every time he's trying some of those halfback dives, it's too clogged up. But once oh, he gets outside man, the tackles, that Ooh. jukebox comes into play. As what a run. Let's take a look at our Snickers touchdown replay. One cut to the outside, and there goes Mostert. Breaks the dive to the outside, follow his blockers and all that speed, uses the speed ball, uh, hold the ball glitch to get that extra speed boost. And he's able to walk into the end zone for a nice touchdown. And here comes his strength, the defense back out on the field. Why not start off with a sack? Oh, oh, it's the Isaiah Simmons show for Mills. This is where it could get tough for Pavin. You just gave up that huge run for a touchdown, which you didn't want, and you know how difficult. You have to be mentally locked in every single play going up against this defense. It's so difficult to beat, so you cannot take any plays off. You cannot make any mental mistakes if you're Pavin, and he's got to get back. He's got to calm down. He's got to focus, get back to blocking two or sending out five, making quick reads. Pavin saying that going through the LCQ means he has the most momentum of anybody right now. In the final 12 of the Madden Bowl is a quick flat route to Josh Cribbs. Picks up a couple, third and 14. This is where Mills wants to set you back at these third and longs. Without a doubt, third and 14, a tough spot. And you know Mills is bringing the goons. Classic battle here of 818 versus EMB. Uh, Mills wanted to shout out his boy Kerry Q as well as all the EMB guys labbing him up. And then Pavin, you know, labs with Wesley and Henry, who we just saw in a heartbreaking loss. With both of those guys in heartbreaking losses today. So these guys play with the best players in the world. And here we go, big third and 14 for Pavlin. And no surprise, as you can see from his team and the jersey he's wearing, he want a big shout out to Raider Nation. Third and 14, Vic dropping back. The heat coming up the middle. Vic takes off. Can he get to the first down marker? He will slide down to the 25 yard line. Didn't want to risk taking any sort of hit from Mills' defense. And we'll see if Pavin plays conservative or goes aggressive. No it looks like he's going to punt the ball away and trust his defense. Fortunately for Pavin, his defense, they gave up a touchdown on the first drive. It's, I mean, it, it is, it's something we're getting used to, Tyler, watching this game as it's progressed uh, this year with all this running that, you know, this is one of those games that each player may only end up with two or three possessions, so each possession you don't score on is that much more important. I think this year, out of any year I've been involved with competitive Madden, is the most punts we've seen, especially at this level. And it just goes to show the type of game it is and, and how important defense is this year, especially when you're building your teams as uh, Mills gets blown up right there, two-yard gain. And he Mills is feeling it. You can see this guy is always very confident. His swagger is always showing. But he's got to get something, you know, I want to see him get to the outside again, like you said, Nick. When Every time he gets, takes those dives and gets to the outside, he has success. Well, it brings in Tressway, the punter. You notice a lot more handoffs to the left side. Tressway, quicker animation with those handoffs. So, listen, we've seen more punts than ever, and we're seeing him play quarterback. This is the most important the punter position has ever been in competitive Madden. It's the year of the punter. Let's go. Mostert spinning back three, inside. And yeah, Pavin's sitting there going, you got jukebox, you don't have spin cycle though. Sit on down as Mills gonna have to punt this one away. So the first drive, very fluid for Mills, able to break out a big touchdown. This time Pavin's defense steps up. So Pavin trusts his defense. He ends up punting on that fourth and, and five or whatever it was back then on his last drive. Punts the ball, trusts his defense, and it comes up big for him. And now he's going to have a chance for a big drive here going into the half. He's going to get some points on the board, keep this game close. This kick is away. No use putting the ball in Ed Reed's hands. So we'll go out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Pavin, of course, the Madden 19 club champion. What a run as the now three-time Oakland Raiders club champion, originally from Modesto, California, moved to Yuma City in 2006 and been there since. First and 10. Vic outside the pocket. Vic will throw this one away. Man, Mills' adjustments out of this is insane. You know, it's so hard to be able to blitz eight or nine guys, seven guys, whatever, every play, and then have great coverage as well. And as you saw, Mills manning up the slot receiver there, using the other route. Just phenomenal defense by Mills. 
Pavan saying of that moment against Joke with the run committee, he said, listen, I was disappointed I didn't get the, the bot. When I found that out, I couldn't believe it. But at the end of the day, I got a memory. I got a memory. I don't know, what do you think he values more, that memory or that one seed? <laughs> Definitely the one seed looking back, but what a play that was, Joke with the run commit. That was one of the craziest plays I've ever seen. And a big third and four here. Come on! Oh, oh what a playmaker! Oh, no. Tory Holt over the top! One time for Pavin! Says Mills, I don't care about the reputation for your defense! I just broke one open! What a play by the belt winner, Pavin. What a playmaker up the field. Oh my goodness, that was super nice. And he's able to convert it into a touchdown. What a play by Pavin. Oh my goodness. Uh, he's, been, he's been really able to deal with the pressure from Mills. Unbelievable. 10 7 tie. Break this one down for me. How did Pavin get Torrey Holt so open? Oh man, rolls out left, has the corner out. Playmakers are up the field with that playmaker ability. That's why you get that ability. And he scores a huge touchdown there. Now Mills doesn't have a lot of timeouts, doesn't have any timeouts, and he doesn't have an offense that can really score in these situations. He's gonna have to break one off with Mostert. First and 10. Can he find some running room with 49 seconds left? No timeouts left for either player. So limited amount of plays on the ground. Pavin looking to play some good run defense. Great first half. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. On the, the interwebs, as my dad has legitimately called it, TV. He's actually called it the interwebs. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> And here we see <laughs> Mills. He's got, this is probably going to be tough. The clock's going to run out unless he can break one. He's got a one-on-one. -on -one. He gets outside, gets out of bounds. No, it was it was great because I got to go home for a little bit before this whole social distancing was happening. I was sitting with my dad and one of his old college friends, and he says, yeah, Nick's going to be the Howard Cosell of Madden. And I went, oh, my God, old. Oh, God. <laughs> First and 10. Stretch run to Mostert, trying to get outside. I appreciate the compliment, but, you know, somebody from this millennium. I would go so. <laughs> the legend hands it off. Most of it, nowhere to go up the middle. And a very interesting first half, Tyler Davis. I mean, give him a grade. Give Pavin a grade from A to F at how he dealt with Mills' rush, because I feel like he did really well. Yeah, I think he did really well. He controlled himself. I'd probably give him, you know, a B plus, B. It wasn't, it wasn't great by any means, but it was good enough. And that, especially that playmaker. I mean, he's that's what he's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to get out of the pocket, pick up this this pressure, and then make some plays using that playmaker and rolling around with Vic, picking up yardage with scrambling. What a first half it has been. 10 to 7. The Madden 19 club champion with a slim three point lead over that bare defense from Mills. Guys, if it's humanly possible that you know someone who hasn't already gotten in the game, then you need to tell them it's 70% off right now. It's for a limited time on Xbox and PS4. And the sale will go away pretty soon, so tell whoever that person is that doesn't have Madden 20, their time is now to get in the game. Pavin. Look at this, with most wins in the MCS 20 season, Pavin creeping up on Good. Joke, Henry, and Young Kip. Look at that five-person group of most twins, most wins in the MCS 20. They might be the five favorites, except Henry no longer here. Yeah, without a doubt, five of the best players in Madden 20, and Pavin slowly creeping up, you know, building his legacy here on the competitive Madden circuit. And now a big drive for Mills. He's got to respond. That playmaker touchdown was a huge play in the game. Let's see what he can do. Mostert got, I'm, I'm pretty sure, clotheslined by somebody as he was trying to find some room. Yep, absolutely did. Broke his back and picks up nothing. Back into that strong eye formation. Needing to find something offensively as Mostert cuts right, used that jukebox. But every time he's able to get past one player, TD, Pavin's defense has somebody behind him. 
Yeah, he's shown great run defense all tournament, even back to last week in group stage. You know, interesting to me, Nick, is, is Mills went with these secure pass protectors on the offensive line. And, you know, what those do is they counter defensive line abilities like inside stuff. But the interesting thing is no one went with inside stuff in this tournament besides Decroft. He's the only one. So Mills, you know, kind of wasted a lot of cap at those positions when it wasn't really needed, but he thought more people would have it going into this tournament. Mostert gets outside of third and nine, spins back yeah, inside. Oh gets to the 26 yard line. You're popping there. He says, go for it, Mills. I dare you. That just doesn't seem like Mills' way, though. Mills is thinking about it, but he didn't bring a quarterback. And Pavin coming out in that fake uh, defense, so he's not going to be able to try to fake on this. And he's going to punt it away. Who doesn't love that with Mills' team? Tressway was on the field for four straight downs. Tress Way might be Mills' most valuable player. <laughs> I'm kidding, but here we go for Pavin now. That's a big drive because if you can go down and get seven, this will really make it a winnable situation or really make it difficult on Mills to come back from. Tress Way uh, went to the University of Oklahoma. He's a Sooner. Currently with the Washington Redskins as a pass out to the flat. John Ross, I love when I get to use Google to look up some stats on the punter. <laughs> and Mills has been giving up these little flat routes kind of all game to Pavin. That's really been Pavin's bread and butter. You know, he kind of clicks on. He's able to swerve up the field with a rat catch. And he's able to get, you know, between five and eight yards every time. So if Mills keeps giving that up, Pavin's going to take it every single time. Pavin looking. I mean, he, he, he said that he feels like if he can go up by two scores on anybody, he is going to win that game. That's it. Get up by two scores and I'm going to win. Second and two. Hands it to Winslow, the fullback. There's Troy P. Ah, oh, Troy Palomalu. He has been big on so many of these defenses. Troy Palomalu, huge in Madden 20, ultimate team, salary cap. I mean, man, that guy's a goon. And now a nice stop right there by Mills. Big third and two here. Mills has got to stand up for himself. He's got to get off the field. It's crazy for all the great interceptions Troy P had. The play I think most people remember is him dive bombing the quarterback and leaping over the line. Third and two. Back into the shotgun. Pressure off the edge. Trying to get out of there with Vic. He'll pick up the first down. Vic shows off the wheels and you see Mills frustrated. The fact that he couldn't bring down the former Hokie. Oh boy, what a bang bang play. It looked like Mills was coming free for a clean sack. Pavin's able to scramble right away at the last second, get up the field and slide for a crucial first down. Wow, that was a big play in the game. First and 10 into that gun bunch again. You see him flip into that sort of near close formation, but hasn't been able to get that fullback dive to work as he had hoped. This gun bunch has been his most effective, mostly using the legs of Michael Vick, utilizing as much play clock as he can. Vick, pressure off the him. edge. He'll avoid the user read and pick up another first down. Story of the game right now for Pavin is that Mike Vick. He's able to break containment, get outside. Mills was there, but kind of just missed him with his user. Went to the outside. Pavin cut it up inside, able to pick up a big first down. And that Mike Vick has been the story of the game for Pavin. He's ready to run every single time getting out of the pocket. First down and 10. He'll go back into the power formation. Try to... Give some of those receivers a rest. Give the ball to Kellen Winslow. Fullback dive. Nowhere to go. Who else? Troy P. Bottling up the tight end. Yeah, that fullback dive has not had much success for Pavin. I think he only had one good run with it for eight yards. And besides that, it's been bottled up. And he's going back to the gun bunch here. We'll see if he sends out two routes again. Uses a motion blocker. Into the shotgun. We'll see if Mills... Saw him read Pavin, knows he likes to roll left and utilizing that read to try to contain the rollout as he'll go out with Reed. And Pavin hits him with the counter, rolls right, then comes back left and picks up another first down. No need to pass out of this gun punch when Vic is doing this. Man, he's picking up that blitz so well. Right there, he waited for the halfback to chop block off the backside. He's able to be patient in the pocket and then roll out to that backside for a big first down. Oh. And man, we're getting into the fourth quarter, and if it, it, Mills has got to get a stop, Pavin getting seven would be huge. 
Well, in the words of user's dad, it's down to the nitty gritty. 10 to seven. Popping with the lead and driving. Can Mills' defense hold him to a field goal? Only one way to know. We're gonna head to our fourth quarter. It's presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh no, no, don't crush him. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and Creamy Snickers. Five minutes remain, 10 to seven the score. And you've got to think, TD, this is crucial for Mills to keep popping out of the end zone on this drive. Yeah, he's got to pull him to three here. And that fullback dive again is bottled up, only a three yard gain, but it's getting into these passing situations where Pavin's able to roll out. So if you're Mills, you really got to kind of uh, put everything on the containment for Vic now. He's not, he only has two routes out there. You don't really need to worry about the receivers as much now. It's about c bottling up Vic, not letting him break containment and get these first downs because they've been backbreakers for Mills. Michael Vick, 6,100 rushing yards in his career. A single season rushing record broken just recently by Lamar Jackson. But Vic will always have a home here in Madden Ultimate Team. One more game left today and single elimination for the rest of the week. He has a man open in the end zone. It's John Ross. Mills lost track of him. John Ross says, give me that. No more points. What a play by Pavin to break the game open. He stayed in that fullback dive, that near close formation. Mills was expecting the fullback dive. Pavin audibles to a pass. Hits him over the top with a crossing route for a huge touchdown. And just like that, Pavin goes to two score lead over Mills. Does Mills have enough offense to get into this one? TD looking at this replay. Mills may be the one who works for State Farm, but Pavin is saying like a good neighbor, John Ross is there. Goes to the play flat, it has a crossing rope, backside slant, and he, Mills just kind of got stuck right there. It looked like he was playing in sand and, and, and Pavin with a huge touchdown. And now Mills, his offense is not built for these type of situations. He's going to have to score quickly. Ideally, you want to get points, even if it's a field goal before the two-minute warning. Here's what's crazy. Mills has 101 yards rushing with Raheem Mostert in this game. That is exactly half of how much he had in three games in group play. So a much better offense we're seeing today from J. Mills, and he still finds himself down by 10. Stretch run to Mostert, trying to get outside. Avoids Warner, he'll fight through the tackle from Reed and pick up a first down. Mostert fighting for him, that was big. He needed to fall forward, get that first down. And now he's getting closer here. He's still gonna need about 25 yards to be able to get a field goal. Um, you know, and, and that field goal is gonna be crucial. I would expect Mills, once he does get into field goal range, if he does, to take his field goal and play defense. Ed Reed has been, who Mills has been using, trying to get him going defensively and trying to counter some of the the user play from Pavin, and then Pavin flips right around and says, what if I control Ed Reed? And he has bottled up this Mills rushing attack ever since that first quarter. Yeah, you know, those safeties have really come in the gap. And he's not allowing any big runs up the middle. Uh, Mills is going to try to get to the outside again. He can't. This time with Franco Harris. He'll pick up three, get it to a third and five. He said he needs to score before the two-minute warning. That two-minute warning is approaching. It's coming close, and this is a situation where you wish you had a quarterback. I mean, you really want to get the ball on the field and pass, but he's going to stick to his ground game. Do not disrespect the name of Tressway right as he hands get it to Raheem right Mostert here. and picks up three. And here we go. This is right Mills' right season on the line on this play. Fourth in the classic, Houston Texans club champion. He's in the bowl. Does he have a play for fourth and two to keep his season alive? It's a run. It's Mostert, he avoids a tackle. Did he get enough? They'll give him the 49 and they'll give him the first down. He sidestepped the early penetration and just got enough for the first. Mostert falls forward again, so Mills is staying alive. Goes with the stretch here to the outside. And only gets one with Raheem Mostert. Current San Francisco 49er. And that backfield got a, less, a lot less crowded with the trade of Matt Breida to the Dolphins as 
Now you start wondering, he's not using these timeouts. He's, this rundown continues each and every play. I know Michael Skimbo loves to point that out. He's not having enough time here. Oh boy, this is where you kind of start to stretch. You've got to get up to the line and hike it. He might be able to kick a field goal now. He has one of the best kickers. He has Zane Gonzalez. We'll see if he can hit this field goal. 61 Ooh, yards. Wait, wait, I think he I should be able to, but this is huge right here. Three less than the NFL record. Ball is down. The kick is up. Does it have the leg? He might have had it from 64. It's good and back to a one scored game. That's a difficult kick more than people think. The clock is ticking on him. You've got to get to the line, hike it as fast as possible, and you also have to get an accurate kick from 61 yards. So that was not an easy kick. He's able to do it. He saved his three timeouts, but he wasted a lot of time. So he's going to have a chance, but he's got to get he's got to get Pavin a three and out right away. He's going to use all three timeouts right now. Just when you thought this game was over, Mills able to convert a fourth and two late and able to put three points on the board. His defense going to need to step up. I don't know if I like this call, TD. You're the Madden Pro going into that, that near close formation, trying to get the fullback dive working. It hasn't worked all game. It hasn't, but I think Poppin doesn't want to make any mistakes. He's usually pretty conservative. He's very in control of them. He trusts his defense. He knows Mills' offense is not built for these situations, so if he calls three runs and punts, I think he's okay with it, but he's looking to get that first down also. Well, there Winslow picks up three. Timeout taken by Mills. Third and four. If he picks up four yards, it's ball game, and he's on to the quarterfinals. It's Winslow. He did not pick up four. He, in fact, lost a yard. So Mills has a chance. No quarterback can't pass the ball, but he's going to have a couple shots at getting Raheem Mostert to the end zone. He's going to have a chance. No quarterback, like you said. He's going to have to get, he's going to have to run some stretches, some outside zones, out, get outside the tackle and get out of bounds. Because 37 seconds, you're going to have to hit home run if you're Mills. It's going to be difficult, but he does have a chance here, a shot to go to the quarterfinals. Come on. Mills trying to do his best Lloyd Christmas impression. So you're telling me there's a chance. He's got to get Mostert rolling. One more game left today, and that's going to be a fun one. Dreedy and Voltrax. Don't, don't go anywhere. Don't switch off that TV, computer, whatever you're watching this on. You guys have been awesome hanging out with us all last week for group play, and that was this week where we are going to crown a Madden 20 champion. First down and 10, Tressway off the field. Eli with the ball, oh. there goes Mostert. He had room up the middle, but a great user from Pavin to stay patient with Ed Reed, and he'll hurry back to the line. That runoff is oh so important. Trying to get outside, trying to get That'll out of bounds. It. The clock's down to 10. Will he have Come enough on. time to get off another play? Get he will not, and Pavin will walk away with Come a on, victory. Let's get this stuff on my field. Wow, what That's an ending. Going. Mills just ran out of time. It looked like That's he going, broke man. that last play up the middle. Pavin with a great user tackle, Dude, you, and Pavin able to come up with a victory in advance. Wow, what a ball game down to the wire. TD, how about the